think the new 911 GT3 RS 4.0 is the sum of our ideas born on the track. It defines us and it's providing new levels of precision accuracy combined with outstanding performance for a road legal car. Well, it's a, it's a billion dollar question, but uh, it's as close to the race car a street legal car can possibly get. And that's a serious message. We're here on the test track of Porsche Development Center in uh, Weissau, Germany. The car you can see behind me is the new GT3 RS 4-liter version, the limited edition version of the GT3 RS uh, second generation. The GT3 RS 3.8 second generation was such a successful project. We won so many awards internationally, the car uh, was so well received within the customers, we just decided to make up a, make a second batch. and. Uh, enrich the RS flavor a little bit by adding some spices like the crankshaft of the 4-liter car, 4-liter race car and uh, some components that we just introduced in the GT2 RS uh, street-going car and the uh, result is a maybe all-time classic RS. This might be the best uh, RS we ever made. The most significant change is power and torque. You feel it even on the first few meters when you drive the car. The crankshaft, the conrods, the intake manifold, the air filter, the airbox and the exhaust headers are the most significant hardware changes in comparison to the 3.8 liter unit. A GT3 engine never felt better, believe me, it's that brilliant. The result now is 500 horsepower and a specific power rating of 125 horsepower per liter, naturally aspirated and street legal. We're using lightweight carbon front hood and front fenders and uh, lightweight carpentry in the interior, perspex windows, not only on the rear window, but now as well for the rear side windows. And uh, we've reduced the weight of the car even further. Another modifications are to be found in the suspension, for example, where we have lightweight springs and aluminum struts, which help to lower the weight, as a matter of fact. We have additional ball joints on the lower level of the rear axle that make the rear axle react a little bit faster to driver inputs and uh, add precision to the car. On the aerodynamic design, we have modifications as well. So we improved the downforce on the front and rear axles, increasing the grip and the performance of the car. And for the first time on a Street Eagle car, in a Porsche GT model, the front has aerodynamic dive planes, uh, as seen as in race cars, which increase the downforce to the front axle. The car has almost 190, 195 kilos at downforce now at top speed, which is very remarkable for a Street Eagle car. So, and the result of all this development is a car that is really very unique. The RS 4.0 is really a car that's a lot of fun. The performance is like it never has been before. And um, I think it's going to be an all-time classic. We're making only 600 of these cars. They're limited from 001 to 600. I think this, this might be the best uh, RS we ever made. Mm -hmm.